If you've been gaming since the early 2000s, you'll probably remember a little game called Crazy Taxi. A fast paced arcade taxi racer, but instead of racing against other cars, you're racing against the clock. It's been a while since we had a game like that, and thanks to Team 6 and Lion Castle Entertainment, we now get to live out our taxi driving fantasies. Also, thanks to Lion Castle for providing this review copy. So I had written a review for this game, but booted up my Switch today to find that the game had updated, so I dived back in to see what changes had been made and added that to this review. As such, all the footage that is shown in this review is before the update. But before we get into all that, first things first, let's read the blurb from the Nintendo site. Get behind the wheel and get ready for a brand new taxi experience. Drive around the city as a seasoned cab driver Vinny, or self-proclaimed influencer Cleo and pick up the craziest of customers. Power through Midtown in a strong muscle car, race past the parks in an exotic supercar, or drift around the business area in a Japanese tuna taxi. Whatever you choose, your challenge is to deliver your passengers on time, at least if you want to make any money. Navigate through crowded streets, dodge pedestrians across sidewalks, or even defy the laws of gravity by jumping over rooftops. Nothing is too extreme when it comes to delivering your passengers on time. Discover the best shortcuts and get to know New Yellow City as well as your passengers, like the back of your hand. So Taxi Chaos is a fresh and modern take on the old school classic taxi games. The more risks you take and the crazier you drive, the higher your rewards. You have the choice of seven different cars from the yellow iconic cab to a full blown muscle car. Get to know your bizarre passengers through hilarious and fully voiced conversations, pick up a hipster, plumber, rock star, an alien and many more. Test your driving skills in three distinct modes. Enjoy the classic arcade mode, cruise around in free roam or step up for a real challenge in pro mode. In terms of controls, Taxi Chaos is very simple to pick up and play. Like with most racing games, the CR trigger controls your acceleration and the ZL your brakes. The A and B buttons are used for jumping, the longer you hold, the higher you jump. As you progress through the game, Earning more stars for completing more fares or through collecting collectibles hidden around the city, you unlock more and more vehicles which each have their own way of handling and speed so you'll be able to choose the one that works best for you. Arcade mode is probably where you'll spend most of your time playing this game and you're given a set amount of time to collect as many passengers and drop them off before the timer runs out. You'll also have a timer for each passenger to get them to their destination and once completed you'll get a few seconds added on to your main time. You can also see the difficulty of each passenger by the colour of the icon displayed above their heads. Green and blues are shorter distances and therefore easier to complete, and the yellow and red icons mean a further distance but obviously mean a greater chance of higher reward. And also try not to crash or you'll lose some of that cash. Free roam mode gives players the opportunity to get to know the layout of the city, learn where shortcuts are and deliver passengers to the destinations around town without worrying about the time limit running out. This mode comes in handy the most when it comes to pro mode which completely removes your guide so you'll have to memorise the important points around town and in the bottom left corner you'll see the destination of where you need to drop off your passenger. I tried this mode once but I just wasn't familiar enough with the town. It also doesn't help that most of the city looks very similar but again free roam mode will be your friend here. In terms of visuals, the game is very colourful and the cartoony style definitely suits the game. The game runs well in both docked and handheld mode, however there is a fair bit of pop-up and slightly muddy textures on the characters and environments, which is a shame, especially because this game isn't that detailed, um, it should run better on the Switch. The music in the game was added in the patch and is a little rock tune that plays throughout from the menus all the way into the game, but it's better than what was in the game in the first place. It would just have been nice to have a little bit more variation with the tunes. The conversations that the passengers will have with you also gets a bit repetitive, and again it would be good if there was a bit more variety with those as it does get a bit annoying. In addition to adding music, there have been other small tweaks here and there to improve the gameplay and some glitches which I haven't come across again since the patch has been added. Taxi Chaos can be a fun game to pick up and play, probably in short bursts while you're trying to rack up those high scores and add them to the online leaderboard. It brings back that arcade nostalgia of games like Crazy Taxi while also doing its own thing. I would however like to see more in terms of different environments, unlockable drivers and just a bit more to do around the city. If I had one hesitation, it would be the price. Taxi Chaos is priced at $31.49 on the eShop and as fun as the game can be, I'm just not sure the content on offer will be enough for most players. 
hopefully more content can be added to keep players occupied but for now i'd maybe suggest especially if you're on the fence with this one is waiting for it to go down in the sales i would just find it hard to recommend this game at full price is it a fun game yeah sure it is but not for 31.49 but yeah definitely check it out when it's in a sale and it goes down in price taxi chaos is out now on the nintendo switch eShop. Thanks. I need a ride. 